Okay, what is up guys? Uh, thought this would be a cool little video to make. Uh, so recently I had to take Flint, my Hog Island Boa, to the vet. Um, he had... Here, I'll show him to you guys. He had uh, really dry skin and had sort of this uh, wheezing every once in a while um, when he was trying to breathe. So I started getting concerned, figured I'd rather take it safe than sorry and took him to my local vet. Here he is doing now. So today we're just going to show you um, what the vet told me to do. So the vet treatment for Flint. It turned out he had uh, the beginning signs of a respiratory infection. And uh, the little guy has been getting better since um, since I took him. He hadn't eaten two weeks prior and he actually just ate the other day. So that is a good sign. Oh, and look, it looks like he's about to go into shed as well, which is another great sign. So today we're going to show you what the vet told me to do as far as treatment for Flint, my hog island boa. He is getting ready to shed that skin off. Let's go, boy. Alright, so step one. I asked the vet if there was anything I could do to his enclosure to help him during the time while he's recovering. And she said, just for the time being, take him off the cypress mulch and let's put him on some paper towels. So that is what we did for step one. Let's see if this camera focuses in. So now let's go into the actual treatments of what I have to do for this guy. Alright, so as you can see here, we have a Chinese takeout container with some holes popped in the lid. So step one of the treatment is soaking flint daily in warm water and that feels actually just about right. So what I do is I just fill up the Chinese container, uh, you know, just a little bit, enough that flint totally soaks but not enough that he uh, is at any risk of drowning or anything like that. And so what I do is I take flint, so let me go and get him. Here we go, back and forth, back and forth. So we take Flint and we put him in the soak tub for 20 minutes. So obviously I won't show you the whole 20 minutes of him soaking, but I'll just show you how I put him in there. And he just stays in there for 20 minutes and this helps uh, sort of let him soak so it's easier with shedding. And this also helps uh, that mucus inside his body sort of break down a little bit. So we're going to leave him in there for 20 minutes, we're going to put a timer on, and we will be back in just a second. Alright, to you guys, that probably seemed like no time at all, but in reality it was like 20-25 minutes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, take the guy out, I'm sure he's anxious to get out of there. Such a derp. Look at him all coiled up like a derp. So anyway, the next step is to take him out. Then I'm going to try to keep him in shot for this. What we do is we actually stretch him. Right, so hopefully this is a little bit of a better angle. So what we do is we stretch him out. And this might seem a little awkward, but it uh, snakes don't have diaphragms like we do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat him on the sides, pat him uh, gently, you know, not too hard. And what that does is it breaks up the mucus within his body and I'll force him to, to like cough it up. So what you do is you take him after you soak him and just pat. So you can hear me doing it. It's not too hard. But it's enough, and you if we're lucky, you might actually hear him uh, starting to, to cough that up. And you want to just do it in different areas. So the next step is actually giving him a shot that the vet, uh, some antibiotics that the vet gave me. So I'm going to get my father to help me assist hold the snake while I inject a shot with him. Uh, so I'll set you guys up on a tripod and sort of record it uh, so you guys can sort of see what I'm doing. Alright, let's get this over with. Yeah, and just keep him like straight so that I can 
Well, straight, straight like that. No, like horizontal, vertical. My bad. Here you go, Lola. Keep them stretched out. I feel like I'm not hurt him. You're fine. I'm pulling on him. Okay, so he, she said, keep that. What I'm gonna do is put the air right up to there. Okay. So I'm gonna insert him, and in, so you gotta hold him steady. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert him. And then I'm going to draw it back a little bit, just to make sure no blood gets into the tube. Because uh, that means I would hit a vein, which is very unlikely. But she said just to double check. And so keep him still, right? She said yeah, you should put support it on there. Let me make sure the top side, there we go, that side up. So what I do is... He felt that. Yeah. And just... Poke. Okay, that definitely... Yeah, at least. You can definitely be active when you're yeah, stopping. Okay. And hopefully that got yeah, in shot. I think I almost was choking the poor thing. And then, now that's probably him. That's it? You can let him go. And that's it. He's fine. So you just gotta stick it in, pull back a little bit to see if make sure no blood comes, and then you just poop. Now we should get rid of this. Yeah, not good. So guys, thank you all for watching Flint's treatment uh, he has been doing a lot better for anyone who is concerned uh, even the past couple treatments that he's gotten uh, just the improvement is already hugely noticeable he started eating again I'm gonna switch him over from a seven day schedule to a five days to try to get his weight back up he's at 47 grams right now which is okay but he's still a little bit on the skinny side um, and yeah, we're just giving him shots and we're soaking him and hopefully in the next two to three weeks he'll be uh, just like nothing ever happened. So thank you guys all for watching. Uh, upcoming video plans, hopefully doing a lychee update soon because I know a lot of you guys have asked for that. And then also might do that December reptile Roman, nope, that's me, reptile room update. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Peace.